So guys, I am back with another Cyberpunk 2077 video and today guys, I bring you a list of changes that arrived with patch 1.61 on the 8th of November 2022. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so let's just get straight into it. Open world and quests. Fixed an issue where spamming the interrupt button to loot containers could cause various NCPD scanner hustles to not be completed properly. Reported crime, another circle of hell, lost and found, blood in the air, disloyal employee, don't forget the parking break, comrade red, fixed an issue where quest wasn't completed after looting the goods. Fixed an issue where some assault in progress missions in Northside, Rancho Coronado, Corsu and Badlands weren't completed despite fulfilling the objective. Fixed an issue where some suspected organised crime activities weren't completed despite fulfilling the objective. Fixed an issue that could disable or drop points blocking progress in various gigs. Fixed an issue where it wasn't possible to complete an assault in progress in Charter Hill because the evidence didn't spawn. Cyber Psycho Sighting House on a Hill Fixed an issue where it wasn't possible to reach the Cyber Psycho because the garage door didn't open. Cyber Psycho Sighting where the bodies hit the floor. Fixed an issue where the quest was stuck on the final Cyber Psycho objective after defeating the Cyber Psycho and sending information to Regina. Gig Error 404. Fixed an issue where the gig didn't trigger after approaching the area. Gig Freedom of Press. Fixed an issue where it wasn't possible to proceed inside the TV station building because the doors were closed. Gig's greed never pays. Fixed an issue where it was impossible to complete the search the hidden room objective because the computer was unpowered. <laughs> Crazy. Gig last login. Fixed an issue where the gig didn't trigger after approaching the area. Gig no fixes. Fixed an issue where the gig didn't trigger after approaching the area. And gig old friends the same issue. Fixed an issue where the gig didn't trigger after approaching the area. Gig playing for keeps fixed an issue where it wasn't possible to speak to the bartender if combat started inside the bar blocking progress gig we have your wife fixed an issue where lauren wasn't reacting after coming to her rescue blocking progress automatic love fixed an issue that could block progress to further main quests after leaving clouds Fortunate Son fixed an issue where it wasn't possible to progress past the return to the Elder Caldor's camp objective. I fought the law fixed an issue where after meeting up with River, he teleported to an unreachable area underground blocking progress. Small Man Big Man fixed an issue where the truck in the garage would be despawned blocking progress. Okay, so moving on to visual. Night City's NPCs will now carry umbrellas in various colours and shapes. Fix multiple instances of missing collisions that could result with player falling off the map. Correct various floating or displaced objects on the map. Fix the issue where V's breasts clip through clothes after changing their size at a ripper dock. Fix an issue where after changing nail length from long to short using the mirror, the change wasn't reflected in game until reloading a save. Fix an issue where cars could glitch after bumping into them. And onto gameplay. Fixed an issue where Headhunter and Blue Fang iconic knives would not appear in vendor's inventory if player visited the vendor before the 1.6 patch. I had this actual issue. <laughs> Quick damage and quick hack cooldown reduction bonuses in clothing should now work properly. It should now be possible to craft a legendary variant of the Omnesta um, iconic revolver. Fix an issue where it was possible to use consumables during fistfights. Fix an issue where weapons with explosive damage were dealing less damage than intended. Fix an issue where slotted mods appeared from an item after selling it to a vendor, leaving and then coming back to the same vendor. Fix an issue where putting a corpse into a container or a truck, walking away, then coming back could give a player an infinite amount of money. Well, that is one of the main uh, money glitches nerfed taken out of the game the heat resistant aramid weave fixed shirt will now be available for non-streaked players 
fixing the issue by firing some weapons when falling could cancel full damage. UI The Beast in Me fixing the issue where player's position could be shown as one of six despite coming second. Fixing an issue where reverting key bindings back to default was not reflected in the game until you start reload. Fixed an issue where the inventory menu could rapidly scroll up and down after disassembling or dropping an item. PC specific here. Fixed an issue with temporary uh, frames per second drops when accessing menus. Address the issue where achievements in Epic Store were not granted despite meeting the requirements. Note that in cases where the conditions were met before in a given save, it might be required to try on a new playthrough or from an earlier save where the conditions were not met yet. Load menu should no longer get stuck when playing the game on GOG without internet connection. Fix an issue where upgrading an item to a higher tier rarity crashed the game. Console specific. Fix an issue where cross progression saves from the Xbox One family weren't transferred to PC or PlayStation. Fix an issue where after logging in on GOG on PlayStation, my rewards uh, section displayed an error. Stadia specific. Fix an issue where the game didn't pause when gameplay was suspended. Miscellaneous. Added support for AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.1. Uh, this is PC and next gen consoles only. Fix an issue where in specific circumstances, Judy could disappear from the game while in her apartment. Fix an issue where the wardrobe interaction in the Nomad camp was duplicated after skipping time there. It will no longer be possible to play on arcade machines that are placed horizontally. And there we have it guys. Those are the changes to the game with the 1.61 patch. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps. Add if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.